president of the Berwick Historical Society. And I have with me today Eleanor Murphy, a resident of Berwick and also a charter member of the Berwick Historical Society. And today we're going to, uh, Eleanor is going to explain to us, uh, give us an idea of what it was like to go to a one-room uh, schoolhouse in Berwick. Uh, around 1789, when we were part of Massachusetts, all the towns were divided, all the towns in Maine were divided into districts. And in each district, uh, a schoolhouse was built. Uh, Berwick had as many, Berwick had 18 districts, which meant that there were uh, 18 schoolhouses uh, in Berwick at, at one particular time. Um, do you remember, do you remember where some of these uh, are, or? Are, yes, I remember where they were in my time, okay. with yeah. the, you know, when All I was, right. uh, and uh, maybe we should start with, say, Diamond Hill. There was one just before you went up the big hill that was right in on the right. And, and then, of course, there was, I'm, assure, I'm sure there was one on Little River Road. I do not know where that one was. But then we go over to a long swamp, and there was one there, and the foundation is still there. The granite slabs are still there. And uh, I believe you and I visited that site, Brian. And then we come down Cran uh, Cranberry Meadow Road, and we called that the Little Red School. And that was, um, that was there for many years, and it did burn. And I'm not sure why, because I'm sure there was no electricity or anything else in it, but it, it did burn. And then, and then, of course, we go, go to Beaver Dam, and there was one on the Wentworth Road, just uh, down below. Well, back then, it was Kendall Tibbetts land, and that probably 300 feet. The one on uh, Cranberry Meadow was probably 500 feet from uh, uh, Cemetery Road. And, of course, there was one on um, Pine Hill, which today is a garage, and that uh, and then that is still standing today. And then we had the one on Blackberry Hill, which is a home, and that's still there today. And uh, I was told I'm trying by to the think where there where there was oh Sawmill Hill. There was a little red brick school up on I think mm -hmm. I think it was a brick school if I remember right on Sawmill Hill. And I was I told by a friend whose mother taught on the Pine Hill School, Eleanor, that that building was up by the road. And, and others who went there, I've, I've talked to others in Berwick, uh, other citizens who went there, and they said it was up there, and then it was moved back and so forth. I, I think it, it probably was a pattern because, as I remember, each and every one of them were, back, were close to the road. And I'm assuming because Back then, we used to have snowstorms, and the teachers had to teacher got there had to shovel the walkways out by herself. Yeah, it, a good, a you know, good reason. They did have janitors at that time, though, but of course the um, the, the floors were not tile or, or anything like that. Yeah, they they stopped the uh, 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 district system, uh, and uh, in around I think it was 1893, <clears throat> but they continued to use the buildings. Actually, in 1948, they built the Esterbrook School, oh. so yeah. forth. Now, I can remember uh, another schoolhouse was the one on Rochester Street. Now, I think that serves as a church now. Yes, oh, uh, I did. I don't know what it is. It's, it's closed today. Or it's now. closed. It's I'm not sure. But I, I went there, and, and I know there are many people in our viewing audience uh, went there also. It was a, a two-room, first and second grade and uh, we went there. It's interesting that you can remember some of these mm -hmm. different schools. Let's talk now about the one that you went to, the, di the school, that, now this was the Crossroads yeah, School? The school? Yeah, the school that I went to was called the Crossroads School, and that, and, uh, and of course back in the early days, Route 9 was called the Crossroad, because I assume it was crossed from Berwick to North Berwick. It's the only sure. reason I think, and it, um, it was on the Malloy property, and it stand, it's uh, right opposite Sydney Drive. And it, t t today, the, the granite uh, steps are still there, and the granite slabs for the foundation, because these schools did not have a cellar or anything under them. They just had great big granite slabs, and they were built 
let, let's go back a little bit and have an and have an idea of what it was like when you went to school. Now, can you give us an idea of what the outs what it was like outside before we go on the inside? What was it like and when you first went, went to school? school? Well, the out the outside was just a plain little building with two doors. One door was for the girls and one door was for the boys. And uh, I think that was carried forward for quite a few years. I know even when I went to high school, it, the girls <coughs> had their, their entrance and the, and the, men, the boys had theirs. But the, the one room school that I went to was called the Crossroads School. And it is actually, we've been situated right opposite where Sydney Drive is today, and it was on the Malloy property. And I'm not sure what the name of the person who lives there now is. But I was over there on that, that uh, site not long ago, and the granite steps and the granite foundation is, is still there. So it, um, there is some part of it. But the outside of it was, we had, they had a spring that the teacher, when she got there in the morning, she had to go down and get a bucket of water and bring in. She had to start get wood, start the fires. It, um, it, it was not a big yard. It had a uh, rail fence all the way around it. And uh, it was, because it, it wasn't the landscape like, like uh, schools are today or anything like that. No, there was no driveway into it or anything. The parents left you off side the road if they happened to bring you to school otherwise because we walked. We were just actually farm kids. And uh, how, um, how long did you have to walk to go to school? How long did it, how many, how, what kind of a distance was it, Eleanor? Oh, I wouldn't say it was probably not more than a mile. A, a roughly a yeah. mile. And then, uh, and then as we moved, we moved after the first year and, and then it wasn't maybe a half a mile. Sure. Because actually it was uh, right beside of where the middle school is today. We walked from there down. So maybe that's poss possibly a, yeah. a half a mile. When you uh, when you got there in the morning, did you did you have activities outside first? No, no. We went. Uh, we'd go. We'd go right in. And uh, did it, teacher it, have it, a a bell that they rang? rang. But uh, but we because there wasn't. It was not a large student population. So no, we could we could go right in. And I remember that in the back of the room there was the the stove. It was what they called the schoolroom stove, and. As I think back, I don't ever remember being cold. So the teacher had to get there, get that fire going in the morning, get the place warmed up for us. And of course, there was no running water. And we had, uh, there was the girls and the boys, uh, th there was a, a building added on the back of it, which was the outhouses. But there was a, a hallway, and then you went into to them, and, and each, each one had theirs. And we had, um, also in, in, in it was the desk. They, we had the little desk for the little, us little kids, and, and, the, and they had larger desks for the others. And mm -hmm. along the walls, the, the, there was just a, a long bench. Because back then, parents used to come to school and uh, visit, you know, and... And they could and sit they, for and, a while. Yeah, and then they, and they would sit in, in, in the, you know, the, on the benches, and they could mm -hmm. come and go as if they pleased. Do you remember roughly about what time you started and what time you ended, roughly? I think we started around quarter of nine, and, and, and we didn't get out yeah. till quarter of four. Oh, okay. That, yeah. that was my recollection of, uh, right. of uh, the school yeah. year, of the school day. Now, when you first went in, when uh, the teacher would ring the bell mm -hmm. and you'd all Come in. Mm -hmm. Now you knew, you know, you knew where your seats were. Yeah. You, uh, were they ever changed during the year, or did you always go to the same seat? I don't ever remember of having it changed. I always remember because I was uh, I was there for first, second, and third grade, and yeah, the first graders was here. Then we had the second graders, and then the third graders was was up, was up oh. back. So you had different seats each year, but not during the year. Oh, okay. Um, All right. Now the teacher would start with one subject, for example, and then. Uh, well, she. Um, I, I I remember that. If if it was a, a cool morning, she would set us around the stove in little. They had little chairs. We'd sit around the stove and do our reading class. 
then because we didn't have to have a desk or anything we would we, we would read so that's why I'd say it they you know kind of made it comfortable for all of us however they they had to do it and another thing they did uh, they, they, they would get one class th th their work done and, and and while they were doing that they had assignments for each other class to do so they would spend so much time there and I don't ever remember of any conflict and also you had you were taught you had to be quiet because another class was 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 being was being taken care of and and that was uh, that, that that was very that was very true and I, and uh, one of the comical things that I remember about the school we had uh, Miss Morrow for our teacher and I was in second grade when, for Miss Morrow and she um, was not married and she was Vivian Hussey who married the, the Vivian Hussey school is named after later and she was dating her husband Oscar and Oscar used to come in the boys door and we'd sit there and he peek around and go like this and so she wouldn't know he was there and and because we'd all giggle and tee and and, uh, and she'd look at us and <laughs> and, I, and I could and I could remember then he'd duck out and then finally he'd come back and she she, she would see him but we, we, we I don't know why we just thought that was so great <laughs> and uh, they were really um, young <laughs> now do you remember now was it was it older students like from another grade who would meet with you people and go over the work with you or was it, it the teacher you no know, it was it was it was a teacher because actually there was uh, she would move yeah that, there from was group to group. yeah the, at, actually there was no one there beyond the fifth grade that uh, okay. at that time some had been in the sixth grade but I, I know the Roberts boys and, and they came over to uh, over to town to junior high yes the um, of course at that time uh, Sullivan uh, school uh, was set up uh, uh, here's uh, well that was Berwick High at that time yeah, oh Berwick High, high at that time yeah, yeah. all right and junior high it was in it like when like when we went to the high school we yes. had seventh eighth grade downstairs uh, uh, I'd like to show you a picture of the uh, the three different uh, uh, the high the different schools uh, after they left the uh, uh, the one-room schoolhouses then they would come in to town now the um, the school, the school was really. They still had the districts uh, in in the outer part of the towns, but there was District Two, Five, and Sixteen that they took and made into a uh, uh, into what they call the Sullivan District, and that's when this first building was put up in 1870, uh, 1872, and it burned uh, on April the tenth, uh, uh, 1894. It was rebuilt the same year, and this, this is the second building, the second building. Now, that was Sullivan High that School. That was Sullivan High, yes. That was Sullivan High School, and that one burned on uh, June the 6th, uh, 1927, and then they built the third one, uh, and this was Berwick High School, uh, and that was in 1927. Uh, probably opened in, in 1929 the fall of 29 fall of 1929 so uh, they're all on the same site on school street uh, it, it, here's an example this is uh, I don't have any of the books that you might have had but this to show you how specialized it was uh, here's a uh, an early like devoted to spelling for example, this was just a spelling book. Uh, here's a here's an elementary math book. Uh, they all had all the subjects had their own uh, subjects. Ellen, maybe I, you can show them. Yeah, th uh, this is a complete arithmetic, from beginning to end. How about noontime? Uh, what what happened at, at lunchtime? Well, we always we because we always took our lunch. You took lunch. Uh, yeah. And I say we. Also, that bucket of water that the teacher got every morning, she took it in the it was a little hallway you went in each door. There was a little entry, and then and she set it there, and she put a bucket in it. And we one drink of water, we all took a drink out of the same bucket, 
The same dip of rather, the same, the same dip of water. Mm -hmm. And I don't ever remember of being sick. Mm -hmm. We it just, just never, we just never sure. were sick. Yeah. And, um, now, and, and, and then, it, then it, cause at, at lunch, you know, being the farm kids we were, we all had milk to drink. We had our, we had the, the dinner box and, and with the thermos in it. And uh, we, we had our sandwiches and sure cookies and fruit and, and milk and did you do did you have a lot of board work did you do yes did you get we up did. to the board like what well, in math, math for example no or um, i don't think we got up as much the teacher did things on the all right. uh, on on okay. the board there was two two blackboards in the front of the in front of the building all right and uh and, and but but then they um I, I went three years there and then they decided that they were going to close that closing the country schools because they didn't think we were getting, I remember my father saying they didn't think we were getting the proper education. But he graduated from Sullivan High in 22, and he always said the valedictorian of his class, Lydia Roberts, came from the Crossroads School. So she must have got a pretty good education because uh, she was valedictorian. And I know I came into town for fourth grade, and as far as math and reading, we were we were way ahead of them, and, and and I think maybe it was because we absorbed some of the the, the class above us as, as they were learning. You know, you sit there and you you can't help but listen to it, and I and I think may, maybe that was it. But I know that it was a lot of repeat that year for me, mm. and it was uh, it, it was interesting because I I think we we because it was only three in my class, and uh, we I think we got a excellent education there with a one-room school and a teacher who taught I think it was five five classes at that time but I think as I was talking with a person who had his doctor doctorate in education and he said the difference is he said was a switch in the corner <laughs> he said and, and, and then we, we laughed about it but um, I don't ever recall a discipline problem Eleanor, what, what were the winters like? Uh, you uh, were there times when you couldn't make it to school. Well, yeah, there would there, there would be there would okay, be days. It was too and, much. Uh, and but, nothing, no. but but you know, even when we came, when the bus started to bring us, and we came in town to school, if if the buses couldn't get through, they still had school in town because there wasn't that many country kids that would make any difference. Yeah. And I. Uh, and of course, at that time, we were living right where the middle school was. And my mother made us walk to school. I mean, because there was not Route 9 then, there was hardly any traffic. We'd walk along, pick up all the other kids along the way. And uh, I won't say we got there quarter of nine when school started, but we got there shortly after. Sure. Because she, you know, they, back then, you, you didn't stay out of school for any reason. And if you get up in the morning, you said, you know, I don't feel good. Well, you you just go right along to school. You'll feel better when you get there. If the, you didn't stay home, <laughs> uh, you ended about May or June. We always ended in June. In June. Yeah. Yeah. It must have been kind of warm uh, after a while when you get into the warm season. Well, uh, we, if if uh, along the, the walls there was windows and they just put the windows up. Sure. Sure, I don't yeah. ever remember of it being terribly warm. No, not okay. Because when right. you're a kid, I, I don't think those things. No, it didn't. No, it didn't yeah. bother. Yeah. I was I, uh, interesting to ask you. Interested to ask you, uh, did you have those small desks that had the ink well? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because I can remember that myself. Yeah. Uh, in fact, we have one right out there. Yes, in in the, the society in has has one of those things mm -hmm. and so forth, but I can remember. Uh, I didn't go to the same. I went to the uh, the uh, now the school on Rochester Street. That was a two-room schoolhouse, but it, it was it's one of the early ones. Yeah. And I can remember the, uh, the interestingly enough, I remember the uh, the ink wells, and whether I used them or not, I don't remember. But I remember the desks that were well, available. Well, we had the ink wells even into high school. When I went, when I went into right? high school, yes. Yeah. Oh, now, and when you went, when you went to high school, now, you went to the school in the middle. Yes. Here. All right. 
Yeah, okay. And went to junior high there also. Junior high? Seventh, eighth grade. And we called it junior high at the time. Yes, okay. Because Our grammar it, school. It was, it was, it was both, yeah. yes. Okay. We, but we did not mingle with high school students, if you remember correctly. We had our two separate rooms, mm. and uh, we changed classes. The first time we'd ever changed classes. Yeah. Now, besides parents, were there any other, were, were there any other visitors uh, that came to you when you were at the Crossroads School? The school superintendent used to visit regularly, and I can remember. Was that? That was Mr. McHugh. Yeah. And we were taught when Mr. McHugh came, if it was in the morning, we immediately stood up and said, good morning, Mr. McHugh. And then, and if it was the afternoon, it was good afternoon, Mr. McHugh. And that carried over into town. We did that in, when we was in school in the town, too. And the superintendent came, oh, I can't remember just how often, but it seems if to me, as I remember, he came quite often to check on what was being taught in each class because mm. there was nothing compared like there was today. When I went to Berwick High, there was only 86 in the whole high school. We had four teachers, so compare that with Noble today and... Uh, it's, it's quite different. It's quite different. Did the superintendent talk to you or just oh, listen oh, yeah. or no, no, observe he would, the well, teacher? No, he, well, he would answer us. He would say, good morning, children, or good mm -hmm. afternoon, children. Right. And, uh, but he would talk with the teacher, and, and he would uh, he'd listen maybe for 10, 15 minutes, and then I imagine he went on to another class. Yeah. Now, if you did have, for example, like you, if you had a, an arithmetic book, uh, for example, or a grammar, an English grammar. Uh, if you if you had difficulty, could your neighbor help you? Uh, was it, did that happen? As long as you were quiet. Uh, no, no, we you, never. You waited we, for the teacher. Yeah, and, and and I will have to say that, you know, if you went to, to the teacher and said, I think I'm having a problem with this, they seemed to have the patience of Job because they would take the time to uh, explain everything to you. And it wasn't so much with English or anything, it, would, it probably would be with math. With math, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Uh, did you end up with the same subject at the, uh, at the end of the, each day, or, or did you sometimes change it uh, around? Up through, up through junior high, yes, we had the same subject. High school, we had, um, what we used to call it, um, we had five classes a day, and there were seven classes. So every day you would go one, set out one to five, and, 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 and then the next day you'd go six, seven, one, two, yeah, three. Yeah, it would change. And that would change. So sure. your classes, and you had study halls. You, it would come at different times of the day. Sure, sure. And, and, and actually, uh, like, would you call that revolving classes? Or, but I, but I, I know I really, I really liked that, and we had that all through, all through high school. Sure. Sure. It's interesting. Uh, we we've ha we have um, um, we still have one-room schoolhouses in Burke. A few, most of them have been uh, uh, don't don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you uh, have a chance to look in one, you can you can see. Were there other incidences that you can remember in in uh, uh, in your experience in the one-room school? school? Well, I, well, I remember the. Um Hurricane of '38, okay. and it was Mrs. Fall was it was a teacher that was uh, that that was our last year there I guess, and uh, my brother Harry and Jimmy Malloy, and of course Jimmy was killed in Korea. Uh, uh, they, they they kept sneaking out doors, <laughs> and Mrs. Fall was very upset with those two kids I'll tell you, <laughs> but uh, she managed them. Don't worry. <laughs> mm. But that was uh, because the, the wires were down and, and there was a lot oh. of problems and she, oh, yeah. uh, and she was rightly concerned. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure I was as worried about those days as I think about it today. Now, you had, you did or did not have electricity in the school? Oh, no. We had no, we had no, no lights, whatever. N all right. Uh, Crossroads School today is, is, uh, is a home up almost directly across from where the library is. Yeah. There's, there's, uh, Right one directly across, then the next home that was moved into town and made into a home. Yeah. The one in Blackberry Hill is a home down there, also. Y yes, yeah. And then the one on Pine Hill is um, a garage. Yes, it's, it, and it, uh, and, and in that case, that was used to be by the uh, uh, road, and mm -hmm. it was the garage was moved back, that. and the front part of it was taken out in order to make a, a, a house for the garage. 
Uh, and I, I know, I know, Brian, you and I went up the Long Swamp Road, and we went in the woods there. And we found the foundation. We found the foundation of the one-room school that was there. Yeah. And that was. Uh, yeah. And that was for that district. Yeah, and that that was it was interesting because the great big um, slabs of uh, granite? Uh, granite are still are still there, and and in in and in the case of the crossroad. That there was there was two steps of granite, and they're still sitting there, w in front of each door, and so it was it was interesting to see how many years it's been, and 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 because granite does last forever. I don't know if there's any. Do you? I don't know of any other one. Well, again, the one on uh, Rochester Street, uh, yeah. that survived, and uh, and there was one on on uh, the Hubbard Road, and and there was a. I don't know what the name of that road is. Road out through the woods there, and that was right on the corner. I remember of, of seeing that sitting mm -hmm. there, and I don't know whatever happened to it. I've seen photographs of the one. Uh, there was one on uh, Cranberry Meadow. Yes. Uh, there was one on uh, Sawmill Hill. Sawmill Hill. And, and then on Wentworth Road, when you just turned down, oh, I don't know how many feet, two, three hundred feet. That, that, that there was a one-room school that that sat there. Yeah. Beaver Dam. And again, we need to keep in mind that these schools were all in uh, one of the uh, one of those districts. Yeah. And uh, oh, there was one at Diamond Hill too. Yes. And that was just before you went up the last big hill. It's set right in there on the on, on the right. Yes. The Historical Society, in its collection, has uh, uh, um, uh, graduation forms and mm. uh, exercises and so forth from these schools but as I said you uh, if, if you uh, if you were ever looking at at this map uh, this is an 1872 map of Berwick it's an original and uh, it'll it'll show you where the different schoolhouses are uh, and I'm assuming there was one on Little River but I'm not sure there where was it one. was yes I I don't no, the, uh, I, I don't, there was one, I but I don't, I, I'm not sure. I, don't, I, know where I, don't, it is I have either. no idea where it was. And I, when, I, when I was very young, I knew a lady uh, uh, who taught there uh, when she was young. Uh, and but the one on Cranberry Meadow Road, that was just above Cemetery Road, and, and it sat in there, and I think that burnt. Because I remember it sat there for a number of years, and when we were kids we used to go up and visit it once in a while I mean it wasn't being a school anymore either <laughs> but, uh, okay. that, that was a, a little red school I want to thank you mm -hmm. for your time and thank you for taking an interest and uh, and uh, cooperating and helping us mm -hmm. out here so and uh, so thank you